that is probably just a conspiracy theory. It doesn't exist. Just like chemtrails, uh, I'm sorry, I mean solar radiation management, geoengineering. Yes, well according to the fifth assessment report of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, chemtrails don't exist. And, and even though that they don't exist and they're not spraying the sky, they also say that in order to stop global warming, we absolutely mustn't stop doing it. <laughs> They say if SRM were terminated for any reason, there is high confidence that global surface temperatures will rise very rapidly. Solar radiation management has three essential characteristics. It's cheap, fast, and imperfect. The IRGC explains that by injecting 13,000 tons of sulfate aerosol into the stratosphere on a daily basis, they would offset the radiative effects of a doubling of atmospheric CO2. And this compares to having to remove 225 million tons per day of CO2 from the atmosphere for 25 years. So heck, that sounds like we've solved the problem. No need to uh, bury CO2. We can just block out the sun with this cheap and uh, imperfect plan that they've got in place. But in addition to warning the policymakers in its summary that chemtrails must continue, the IPCC also denies that such programs exist. Buried deep within Chapter 7, the IPCC simply states that SRM methods are unimplemented and untested. And that's odd because I thought if we stopped, the planet would heat up. <laughs> but <laughs> the IPCC goes on to admit that a number of field experiments have already taken place. One of the programs listed, the Intercontinental Chemical Transport Experiment, covered the Northern Hemisphere. They were measuring aerosols that originated in Asia, crossing the Pacific into the North America, and then continuing across the Atlantic Ocean and into Europe. Another experiment ran for full four years, and it included Africa. And look, it even has a nice little logo there showing you <laughs> what it was all about, spring 2006, but it doesn't actually exist. They never actually did that. It's a conspiracy theory and if you think that they were actually spraying the sky to stop global warming then you are a crazy conspiracy theorist. And of course since they're not spraying the sky with uh, solar radiation management that's why they need nuclear energy which is also a conspiracy theory to think that nuclear energy isn't the cleanest and the best out there.